Hey everybody, Rob here from More Music in Evansville, Indiana and MoreGuitars.com. Got my buddy Ed here with me today and we have PRS DGTs. I have a DGT too. Do you know what DGT stands for? David Grissom Tremolo. Tremolo, that's right. Get asked that all the time. Oh, the T is for trem. Tremolo. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what we've got here are a couple of wood library specimens, but I think before mm -hmm. we get into that, let's kind of wood rewind library. and let's just talk about what a DGT is mm -hmm. so that we can explain why these are a little different. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, the... so what's your experience with the DGT? So from what I understand, it kind of started with the custom 22 and it just kind of went from, okay, if we were going to, if David, you know, in his mind, if I was going to improve on a custom 22, what mm -hmm. would I do? Yeah. And he went full on with like one of the most useful things is independent volume controls for each pickup. Yes. So, I mean, that is something right that a lot of players really, yeah, <laughs> just really utilize that and, and, and enjoy that yeah. feature tremendously. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's one, of the, one of the things that you miss, at least I miss on a master volume guitar, you know, being able to have that functionality where you have independent volume control. That's huge. And mm -hmm. he incorporated it to this instrument. It's great. It's great. The pickups are a little bit different. This is his own DGT pickup. And it's it's a vintagey vibe kind of pickup. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a, a screamer, but yeah. but it's it can do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Shall we demonstrate? Well, let's do it. <laughs> there, you're the better screamer. <laughs> Gratuitous pick. All right. Anyway. So, so a DGT <laughs> would have would have the, the two independent volumes mm -hmm. with the uh, push pull tone yes. and the three way toggle. Mm -hmm. um, DGT pickups. His neck carb too, right? Neck his neck carb, which uh, is a little bit it's it's its own thing. Yeah, what yeah. do you how do you what do you think about it? Well, I detect an ever 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 so slight V. A little bump. It almost feels little, like it comes to a little bit of a yeah, point there. Yeah, it? it's yeah. very, very comfortable. Yeah. And I have very stubby fingers for a guitar player or for anybody really. I, I, it's definitely, definitely. They call uh, a me neck, stubby fingers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a neck carve that definitely is conducive for for a, a, a guy that is um, um, struggles. <laughs> With the, I, I without, think, I wish I had the Steve Vai hands. I guess. Yeah, I think it's very comfortable. It's it's like you said. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a V to it. Uh, feels like it anyway. Um, not too wide. No. You know, not not cumbersome to get around at all. No, it's the Goldilocks of neck carves. Comes comes from the factory with 11s and an unwound G string. Mm. Yeah. I like my G strings unwound. Hey, who does that? <laughs> <laughs> And for a guitar with 11s, like, you know, as a matter of fact, it didn't feel, I didn't even detect that. Yeah. Now, I play with 10s on my guitars. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, this 11 gauge, you know, I would not have guessed. Yeah. You know, so it's not a, a particularly uh, uh, high tension or stiff feel to it at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bound fingerboard. Yeah, which we were discussing. We thought that was going to go away yeah. in 2019, yeah. but it doesn't seem to have gone away. Yeah, it's still here. We've That's cool. this wood library run with the bound fingerboards as well as some some just core yeah. pieces in already. And I like it, I mean, because I think it ties in with one another thing that he wanted, which is these, these the ivory bone. buttons. Yeah, yeah. Faux bone. Faux bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's a great guitar and, and one that has been catching on as of late. It was kind of a, it was one of those things where it felt like a little bit of a sleeper there for a while and it just kept like, you watch the, the forums and stuff like that, and more and more people are starting to bring up DGT. It's like, okay, I think we need to, yeah, we need call. to pay attention to yeah. this. And uh, we did a, li a wood library run. So let's talk about, let's finish talking about how the DGT would normally come. So you normally would get a mahogany neck mm -hmm. rosewood fretboard on this guitar. Right. So these are the wood library versions, guitars that we've actually, we went to the factory, we've hand selected the woods. We've spec'd these guitars out with some upgraded features. So let's talk about this run in particular. Um, th we did five quill tops and we did five uh, flame tops. And it looks like, if I remember, three 
at least three out of the five quilt tops are one piece tops like this one right here and yeah. I believe that one too. Yeah, this is a one piece quilt top which you know when you're when you're looking for wood it's like you don't often see a piece of, of quilt that is this size that does not die out on the edges right. that they can make a one piece top out yeah. of so that's pretty special. So we, we, we found a little stash there yeah. so we thought we'd use as much of it as we could on this run which is really cool. Um, mahogany backs of course East Indian rosewood necks, which man, yeah. people are really be digging these. They've got that great. satin finish, almost bare wood feel to yeah. them that doesn't get all they sticky. They feel great. They feel great. Nice and smooth. Yeah, yeah. And uh, ebony fretboards. Mm hmm. Got some nice contrast again. The binding tying in with the buttons. You know, it's a it's yeah. a good looking guitar. The birds are uh, uh, mother of pearl centers with uh, I think Powa outline. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's another thing we get to pick out, you know, if we want old school birds or, you know, whatever kind of birds we want and then also choose the materials. So the other thing about the DGT is this, you know, PRS tends to use kind of a medium jumbo mm. uh, fret wire on most of their guitars. This, the DGT is different. This is a jumbo yeah. wire. Yeah. So it's got a little bit different feel to it. Yeah. I like we love it. it. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Great. Nice. Here, I'll play something clean so you can hear, hear neck position clean. And here's a bridge. And then with the coil tap, I love this. Get that real glassy. Try me. Single coil neck. Here's this with a little. And uh, all right, and then bridge. Versatile guitar. Yeah, yeah. It's just a lot of fun. Nice, nice. So, PRS David Grissom Trim or DGT. We're getting them. The Wood Library, they're here. They're starting to arrive. We got a few more from this run that uh, are expected in any time now. Mm. So you just got to keep an eye on the website. Hopefully you're getting the uh, daily arrivals email from us so you know you're in the know on all the new stuff that's coming in. We get killer guitars every day. All the time. It's Christmas every day here at More Music. There are unboxings going on and it's just, we're really, really fortunate. So if you have any questions, if you think the DGT might be the right guitar for you or if you have any other questions about any other PRS guitars or anything for that matter guitar related, We'd love to talk to you and be sure to give us a call, send us an email, live chat with us on the website. We're easy to get a hold of and we want to talk to you. We so appreciate you joining us on this video today. We hope we uh, gave you a good demonstration of the DGT and helped explain why you would want to choose a library maybe over uh, a regular core piece. Yeah. Um, so uh, glad you joined us. Come back and see us again for another great video and bring a friend next time, would you?